You wanna make a G Fuel video with me? Kirby is obviously very excited to be doing this review today. <laughs> Say hi, everybody. Say please subscribe. Your owner dropped out of college. We need to make this work. It feels like it's been a really long time since I've done a G Fuel unboxing and review. I didn't do a video on the bubblegum flavor, which was the latest release because I had done one six months ago. So if I'm not mistaken, that means the last review I did was four weeks ago with the Sour Blue Chug Rock cans that came out, which were fantastic, by the way. If you guys know anything about me, you know that the sour flavors are my absolute favorite and luckily today is gonna be a good day for people like me who enjoy everything sour in this box right here we have an interesting new take on an old classic one of the very first flavors that you feel I ever tried was the face berry and as of today when this is being recorded a sour version of this OG flavor is being released now I have it right here I'm gonna try it for you guys and let you know what I think I have high hopes for this one already because again I love sour things not to already mention that I already enjoy face berry as a flavor by itself we're gonna see I'm gonna unbox for you guys give you a comprehensive review of what I honestly think of this. I'll rate it 1 out of 10 and you guys can decide if you want to pick it up for yourself as well. This wouldn't be a duckage video if I opened a box with something boring like a knife or scissors. No, we gotta take it to the next level. This is premium content ladies and gentlemen. So I like to play this little game before I unbox anything on this channel. I have three items right here which are all typically not used to unbox things. But you guys have a couple seconds to guess what I'm gonna open this box with in the comments down below. Is it gonna be A, a guitar pick, B, this cap to a soda can, or finally C, a battery submit your answers now it's okay i'll wait go ahead no honestly go go ahead and do it it's fine I got time. I'm, my dog's hanging out over there. He's waiting for you to submit. Well, if you commented a battery, you were correct. Congratulations. I don't know how I'm going to do this. If I rub it really quickly, maybe it'll like break the seal. Okay, so this is the progress I've made so far. I've got half of it done. I just need to figure out how I'm going to get this side un undone. Oh, I did it. I did it. I actually did it. No way. I opened a box with a battery. Frick you guys. I didn't need college anyways. All right, so let's take a look at this thing. So here it is. The brand new Sour Phase Berry G Fuel flavor inspired by Phase Clan. Same color scheme as everything from the original just some different like artwork for the fruit that's on it and obviously this one's sour so it's got like green overtone to it i like it a lot it looks cool but i'm really excited to open it up and give it a go y'all know the drill take your somewhat long fingernails because of quarantine and make an incision right here really firmly and just drag all the way across you can hear that ripping it means you're doing it right all right we got enough of it off you guys want to see it first tell me what it looks like does it look good got that classic winter white powder look to it and it Definitely, definitely smells sour, no doubt about it. You know, question for you guys. If you've been watching the channel for a while and you see me do a couple of these unboxings specifically on G Fuel products, what's your favorite part of these reviews? Do you like it when I'm pouring the water and shaking really obnoxiously? Do you like the part where we try to pick things to open the box with? Or do you actually come for like the review? That's probably why you're here. Now it's very crucial when we're pouring water, we want to hold our breath. <gasps> And done. Okay, I was out of breath there for a minute. So let's find our scooper in the bottom of this. You know what? Let's just look. I'm just gonna say it. I love you, G Fuel. I love you guys dearly. That was really tasty. I'm sure we can work something out. The year is 2020. Technology is so advanced. Can we not put something on the bottom of the lid to keep the scooper there? So when you pull it out, you just grab like a little hook. Like that's it. This is a suggestion. It's okay if you don't want to do it. I'll just keep getting very suspicious white powder all over my hands while I'm making this. Got a little bit more than a full scoop here. I like to let it melt over for a little extra flavor. So I'm gonna get a lot of that sour in this. Let's put it all in there. Look how nice this looks in my new camera. This is one of the first G4 reviews I've done with this new camera, I think. Where I'm mixing it all and you can see like the finite detail to it. it smells really good from here and you guys know all we have to do left before we taste it is and done okay all right let's pop this open we gotta hope for a good pop it's good luck when we have a good pop let's go ahead everybody sh hey. shut up that was a good one and a little bit of the g fuel actually hit my lip and that was really sour so i mean this is gonna be great for me let's waste no more time guys cheers let's give this a go and i'll let you guys know what i think oh wait use code duck for 30 percent off until may 25th helps me out a lot only plug i want to do this video i appreciate it a whole lot okay let's go Wow, they mean sour when they say sour. Holy. Yeah, I can feel that extra little bit I put in there when I let it mountain over. <laughs> this is what this flavor needed. I can say this right off the bat. The flavor was good before, 10 times better. This is in the first couple of sips. Miles ahead of its counterpart with the regular not sour version. What I'm tasting more than anything is the pomegranate and the strawberry. There was a gum I really enjoyed as a kid that was like half sour and half sweet. It was a strawberry chewing gum and half of the pack had really sour gooey stuff in the middle and the right side of the pack was super sweet. It was made to chew together for a nice combo of the sweet and sour and that's exactly what this reminds me of what is the name i have to look this up this is driving me 
me nuts. Okay, I found it. So it was a trident half sweet, half sour strawberry gum. I'm getting a lot of that here, except I can taste like an extra punch of the pomegranate. I don't really taste a lot of the blueberry personally. Most of you that have watched my channel for a while know that the hype sauce is my number one flavor, but I would be lying if I said this was not giving it a run for its money. It's a bit of a kick with a lot of smoothness to it. It's a really well-rounded drink, to be honest. I will say without a shadow of a doubt that this is this is already top three. I don't want to give it the power to go above the sour blue truck rug or the hype sauce yet. For now, I'm going to put this at my all-time number three spot, but this may change as time goes on. I will say for you guys that like sour, this is your drink. Anytime someone asks me a recommendation for a sour flavor, I always say hype sauce, sour blue truck rug, and now I'm going to be saying the Faceberry sour version. This has such a well-rounded kick that isn't too strong. I liked the Faceberry before this, but this has brought it to a whole nother level. I would drink the regular Faceberry formula every so often, but this tub is going to be a daily rotation for a while. But the well-rounded experience is really what I want to emphasize. It's very well-rounded, which are also reasons why I love flavors like the sour blue chug rug and the hype sauce. I'm going to give this a 10 out of 10. This is fantastic. There's nothing I feel like it's missing from it. They couldn't change anything about it to make me like it more. Still not sure if it's going to trump hype sauce and sour blue chug rug yet. I'll keep drinking it for a little while. I'll let you guys know what I think. I have a video coming very soon, actually, where I'm going to be ranking every single G2 flavor. From the very first flavor they released all the way up to the sour face berry that just came out today, I want to rank it all for you guys just so you have a comprehensive guide of what I think is the best all the way down to the worst. So yeah, that completes it for me. 10 out of 10, definitely recommend it. If you guys pick it up, let me know what you think about it in the comments down below. Also, I stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so if you want to ever talk about G Fuel, streaming, tech, anything related to that, or if you just want to come game and hang out in the chat for a little while, you're more than welcome to stop by. Two claps for G Fuel, please. Thank you. But that's just about everything for me, guys. Hopefully you did enjoy the video today. If you did and you don't mind doing so, go ahead and drop a sub like, man. That's a subscribe, a like, and a comment, and I will see you in the next video.